That's it. Done. Took about 20 minutes. <laughs> Didn't take 20 minutes. Took about four hours. But I've braced everything right up to the top because it's an outside door. So I wanted to make it super duper strong, which I think I've done. I've got that wood in that rebar down into the ground. Beautiful. And now I just need to paint everything. That's the thing of beauty. So I need to take off all of this topsoil here. Just ignore that. It looks bad. It's not. Uh, take all this topsoil here and some of the loose stones and I need to lower this by about that much but how much there and bring it all down this way and the idea is back up a little bit ah oh, look at this plant pot thing there I think the the wind has been moving plant pots around I must go and find them um so bring the topsoil down one to here and where we've built this up well I've built this up a whole area there <laughs> a lot of it came from up here stone by stone was thrown down here anyway bring this down and this is going to be a path here come in here around here and down down here so you see that stone there and that one there and perhaps another nice one of these maybe that one there one that i can actually handle we're going to put some steps oh look there's me Hello. oh can you see it I know. <laughs> so we put some steps. One, maybe one, two, three, three, maybe four steps just here. And then with the top saw, we'll bring it down and smooth all of this off. And this will be left to grow lovely stuff on here. Decorative stuff, maybe. Anyway, this, so I've got another, so I've got a few days off this week. So I've got a massive tin of oil and I'm going to try airless spraying the whole thing. This is going to be green, which is why I wanted to tidy it, stop using that front door. So now at least I can put a big bolt on this door. This is it's an internal door. It doesn't matter because it's going to be undercover here anyway. Look, a bit of blood, my little signature. It's like zombie attack. And we found out that we didn't realize this. I didn't realize this, that I've actually bought these lights here. Uh, they've actually got PIRs built in there. Boop. So we can leave those on all the time. So when you come in that door, lights just work, which is fantastic. So I'll use these two lights and put them probably here, maybe like one there. I don't know, one here somewhere like that. One above the door? Yeah. I could put a piece of wood across there and then hang that underneath it. That would work, wouldn't it? There we go, there's a door made from just a few bits of wood, a couple of nails. Um, look, I'll show you the nails. Where are they? Oh, I'll put them away. <laughs> Give me a... This one, that's loaded with 90s or 100s. Uh, 90s, that's got 90 millimeter nails in it. <laughs> that one's got uh 50s in that one which is the other little box there and that's uh the small one there's more like a, more like staples to be honest compared to this stuff they are so much fun so much fun and alas they are not mine i have borrowed them but i've had a lot of fun with them and that's going to help me those things are going to help me take all of this stuff here and that on July and stuff which is out there i keep talking about that stuff oh sorry that stuff that's going to go up here that's going to be the lean-to right that's the plan in the next three days paint the outside of this I, I need to this this is not bad this is strong enough and I've braced the door here so I'm going to put some put some I'm going to put like a combination lock on here somewhere and just have a substantial looking lock and then maybe an outside light here. And if I can work out a way of getting my, currently I've got BT internet here because it's just their fast fiber service, which is really fast, but it's crap outside. So I need a way of taking the mesh network, and bringing it out here, ideally like up there somewhere. 
so that we can get a signal to the house quite healthily and then I can put cameras maybe underneath here. I don't know, put one round the front up on the apex looking that way as a deterrent and then actually have one here somewhere just out of reach. We have to be under this roof, roof, roof and it needs to be able to sustain the kind of weathering. It's gone beautiful now. Next few days are going to be lovely. Um, I'm going to make that, which is a massive gate that I chopped in half. I've actually been looking at it. I'm going to blend it together, make one gate and take it from the corner post of the barn there across to a post that I'll put in here. I'll, I'll probably just go and buy a post because I've got lots of crappy posts lying around, but I might as well put a decent one in there. Um, just again, just as a deterrent really, because we think crime rate is really, really low around here. But you know, it just it seems a bit preventative. I suppose. See these things? They grow wild here. Uh, I want to call them hollyhocks, but they're not, are they? I do it every time. I can't remember what they're called. Them things. Look at that. Loads of them. They're really nice. Some lovely little ferns in there. Can you see them? Uh, I don't think it's really showing it. I really like ferns. We've got loads of them as well. Right, that was it. That's today done. I'm really sore. Everything hurts. I've mashed up my finger a bit. I'm going to go in and see if I can get some sympathy. Ain't going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and play computer games for the rest of the evening. So on that note, there's a hell of a breeze coming in there. I this wind will be gone tomorrow. So I'm just going to leave that tonight. Turn everything off. Get out of here. I may have a little drinky for a change because I'm such a good boy. Look at this, it's just gone fantastic. I'm, I'm swirling all around this. <laughs> Can you see why I want to take this tree down? Look at it, it's bloody massive. Anyway, this is the one I want to keep that trunk up to about here somewhere and then carve something so that when you come in here come up 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 this public road here which actually goes down past our house down there just to my neighbor it's, his road only goes to his house um he's got a small holding down there so when you come here you better look up and i'll clear all of this and then have a nice big thingy oh and a nice road sign now got a road sign to put up over there This scary name of the house. And that tree there is doomed. These power cables, see this? This is this is my property. So they pay us a uh, amount of money to have this on the property. This is an 11 kilovolt transformer, which means that if I want to, I can have three phase straight into here. Look. <laughs> anyway, what am I saying? Oh yeah. We have to, um, we've started talking to Western Power, really, really nice people there because this tree is so close to these power lines and they are 11 kilovolt and they supply all these houses around here, which is a bit dodgy. Uh, they're, they're here somewhere, I don't know if you can see them. So we need to get that um, turned off because uh, they said if it's more than, not less than three meters, then it's a bit of a risk. I said, no, nah, it's not, it's not. And when I looked at this tree, it's less than about a meter away from it. So, um, yeah. Some more scrap metal build up today. Right, that'll be on one of my other things to do. Let's get hold of somebody. Oh, and I've got to take that back. Got to take the laser back. I might actually take the guns back, but we'll see. Right, later, taters. There's my door. Bye. <laughs>